Hi, my name is p i p a t r i n k a m from Department of Physics and Material Science, Faculty of Science. I would like to present this project uh, entitled "Developments of Solid Die Coating Technique for Tin Film Deposition in p r a p s k y Solar Cell." Uh, this work aims to develop solid die coating technique from a three axis CNC platform for tin film deposition in p r a p s k y Solar Cell. And here are the outline of activity done in the past year. First, a three axis CNC platform was assembled with slot die head and a homemade saline pump. Then, it was carefully calibrated, and it was used to deposit zinc oxide or zinc tin oxide tin film. The thickness of this film was uh, changed by changing coating speed. Uh, we fixed flow rate and substrate temperature at a certain value. And finally, p r a p s k y Solar Cell using this film as electron transporting material was fabricated and characterized. Here are the results: the plot of power conversion efficiency versus coating speed of slot die for zinc base, zinc oxide, and zinc tin base, uh, zinc tin oxide base solar cell. And the optimum power conversion efficiency of about 10% was achieved in both device. The optimum coating speed was at 14.8 mm per second. Uh, the power conversion efficiency of the slot die coated device and the spin coated are almost comparable. Then we select the coating speed at 14.8 mm per second for further investigation of morphology. And here are the morphology of the film. Uh, Fe. SEM observation revealed that the thickness of the film are almost comparable at about 30 to 40 nanometers, and it confirmed the full coverage of film on top of FTO substrate. The AVM image also show the surface roughness of about 29 nanometers. These values are almost the same in both spin coated and s o l i d i e coated device. And finally, uh, this work developed the homemade slot die setup on three axis CNC platform for tin film deposition. The techniques can be replaced a common spin coating technique. This technique can be applicable for scaling up p r a p s k y solar cell in the future. Finally, uh, I would like to acknowledge the Murata Science Foundation for the financial support, t a p e Center, Nanotech. Faculty of Science and my student, Ms. Nacha k a m b u n k e r for research assistance. Thank you.